Today we pick up our Bible study in Romans chapter 9, verses 6 through 9. The Apostle Paul is teaching who the true descendants of Abraham are, as he states in Romans chapter 9, verse 6b, as I quote from the New King James Version, For they are not all Israel who are of Israel. For not all Jews accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, but the Lord has promised to always keep a remnant of the people of Israel. The Lord spoke to the prophet Ezekiel in Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 8, stating, Yet I will leave a remnant so that you may have some who escape the sword among the nations when you are scattered through the countries. But the Apostle Paul also states in Romans chapter 9, verse 7a, Nor are they all children because they are the seed of Abraham. This statement is reflective of Paul's overall teaching of living in Christ through our faith or belief in Him as the Savior of the world, as we've learned from John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Paul proclaims in Romans chapter 4, verse 16, Therefore it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all. This is a promise and example of the unfolding of God's great plan of salvation for all of humanity. The Apostle Paul wants to show the Jews who are at the church in Rome, along with all of us today, that the Old Testament, and more directly the law given to Moses by God, is not of no effect or of no worthiness, but that it leads us through that part of history in God's great plan of salvation so that we will have an understanding today of how we got to this point in salvation in and through our Savior Jesus, whom God sent to save the whole world from sin. Without the historical view of the Old Testament, we would have no knowledge of the incapable ways of humanity in saving ourselves from the punishment for sin, nor of our need for a Savior who came and accomplished for us what we are incapable of ourselves in bringing us back to a right status with our Creator God. Dear Lord, Jesus proclaimed in John chapter 4 verses 23 and 24, But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. Please help us to see that it is in our hearts that we must be true to you as we seek your will for our lives through our salvation in our Savior, the Savior of the world, Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.